What is the next course of action now that we have a basis in which we can can calculate the level of contamination? Right. Well, there's 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 really three things that have to happen. First, we have to have an immediate investigation to find out the source of the original contamination and to stop it. The most likely source appears to be Stewart Air National Guard Base. That's why I've uh, called on uh, the Defense Department to, to get its acting gear and to move Stewart to the top of their list because they're out there right now looking at this issue in other bases, but not at all where we have this issue. That's number one. Where did this come from and stop it right away? Second issue is you got to have a sustainable clean water source for the residents of Newburgh. Uh, we have that temporarily in Brown Pond. That's good, but it's not going to last very long. And that means we need a sustainable source. And that brings up issue number three, which is somebody's got to pay for this. And it shouldn't be the city residents of Newburgh who can't afford it and who didn't do anything wrong here. So there needs to be accountability. I'm not interested in pointing fingers or, or, or recriminations, but Somebody needs to be accountable for this, and we need to have this this permanent clean water source paid for, uh, and that's what my office is working on. Now, when the EPA says the standards we always told you were safe are not safe anymore, and, and, and it's actually lower than that, you know, my question is, is well, what does that mean for the people who've been drinking this water? And, and we've been measuring uh, the, how much of this stuff has been in the water for a while now, but it's been below what the EPA said was safe until recently. But the problem is, is they've now lowered that baseline, which means that under their new guidelines, for some time now, city residents have been drinking, including my office, by the way, and my employees have been, and, and, and me, we have been drinking water that has levels of PFCs that are higher than they should be. So we need to understand what the health effects of that are. We need to, we need to prioritize the health and safety of the residents. And if there are steps we need to take to screen people uh, for certain types of problems, we need to do it. If there's other steps we need to take to support people, we need to do it. This is not unlike what we did with, uh, you know, 9-11 responders who were told the air was safe at ground zero and then later find out it's not. You know, we want to know uh, exactly what we're dealing with here. So we got to stop the contamination, know where it came from, get a clean water source that's permanent, have it paid for, and take care of our people. That's what we got to do.